up by God's mercy and by God's grace to come into the knowledge of God's perfect and infallible way. To all of our ministers and to the guest minister that is here, we thank God for all of you, to all of our guests. Boston, last night, 66 were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, so Brother James is current? Yes, sir. All right, let me look at all of these baptisms that take place. This is another week's report. As I mentioned, 66 here in Boston so far. Eight in headquarters, six in Miami, one in Lafayette, Louisiana, two in Monroe, three in Detroit, three in Mobile, five in Newport News, three in Raleigh, three in Houston, 23 in Dallas, two in Little Rock, Arkansas, five in Memphis, one received the Holy Ghost, two in Columbia, South Carolina, eight in Baltimore, one in North Chicago, eight in Bronx, New York. Fourth and four in Orlando, nine in Arizona, five in Los Angeles, two in Sacramento, seven in Atlanta, one in Rocky Mount, three in Milwaukee, three in Cleveland, one in Montreal, Quebec, six in Ontario, Canada, five in Ghana, in Africa. That's 197 souls. You know, God certainly is moving through the truth of God regardless of where it goes. It's a blessing to have something that's not stifled. It don't need to be wind up, stays on all the time. And every place this message goes, it guarantees, God guarantees results. This is my first time here in Boston, in your old wicked city. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure, God willing, it won't be our last because here as well as every other place with the grace of God, give us some time. Some time will take longer in some areas than others. But we're looking to open up the truth of God temple here. for the correction, for the correction of the soul of the people. You have a whole lot of churches in Boston. In fact, you have too many here. But God's church, and I do mean God's church. Somebody heard me last night over the air when I said we're going, God willing, open up a church in, uh, here in Boston, and there were some apostolic groups Say, what you preach is already here. <laughs> In other words, they don't want me here. <laughs> because the preachers, feel as though they're going to lose members. And they ought to lose them so you can go get a job and go to work. <laughs> My job as a fisherman is to tell you what's right. I don't travel the world to make friends with nobody. We travel to tell you what the Word of God says. We're not getting paid. We're not trying to rob you. We're not trying to duke you. We're not trying to con you. But we are working consistently to keep you out of hell. Whether you believe in hell or not, it's coming. And what made hell come into being to begin with? It is because people went after that that was not of God, and it provoked them. Somebody's phone is ringing. You may want to answer it. <laughs> Amen. Is that Sister Tamika phone? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not you? She let me know it ain't her. All right. All right, well, you mothers, you sisters, y'all huddle together now. You get it together. Tell the devil stop calling you. <laughs> So, Boston, <clears throat> all you preachers that think I'm your enemy, I'd rather be a friend of God first. And I'm encouraging all preachers and all churchgoers, get on God's side. Take all the religion that men started 
flush it down your toilet. It may clog it, but by a few plunges, the religion of men is what have brought about all this confusion. That's how all these denominations come about. And that's how all these liars come tell you it doesn't matter what you believe. You believe what you want. You believe what I want. Ha. Scripture come to mind, Williams. Mm -hmm. One say, I am of Paul. Another say, I am of Apollos. First Corinthians chapter 1. Oh, you think you got it right, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Follow me, viewers, because this is you, That's your right. mama, your father, your grandfather, your cousins. Many men out here are starting churches, starting groups. Yeah. Do you realize the dangerous move you made? Right. Who told you to start a church? Get me. Right. When you said God led you, when you said that, did you have enough experience with God to indict him, yeah. to blame it on him? How are you born again? Were you baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Do you have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue? What are you teaching the people? Are you adding to the prosperity mess that hide under the heading of religion? This is a very scary position to be in. Oh, yes. Because there's only two directions where the preachers lead anybody. Heaven or hell. There ain't no purgatory. I know you Catholics wish it, wish it was, but it ain't happening. <laughs> if purgatory was real, I wouldn't be here. No. Hey Amen. Would you be here with him? No way. I know you wouldn't. <laughs> there is no purgatory. You ain't too good for heaven. You ain't too bad for hell, so you rest on an eternal cloud. <laughs> Sitting back on a cloud like you on West Palm Beach, chilling out. That's right. Throughout eternity with a non version spiritual daiquiri. <laughs> that ain't happening. It's not happening. It's heaven or hell. <laughs> right with God or you're wrong with God. Follow me in your Bible. Listen at this. In the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 1, we'll start at verse 11. All right. For it hath been declared unto me of you, my brethren, yes. by them which are of the house of Chloe. It hath been declared unto me concerning you, my brethren. By them which are of the house of Chloe. Yeah. That there are contentions among you. That's what you have among religion now, contention. Contention. Everybody got their own religion, got their own belief, and for some dumb reason, hmm. thank you, justify it. Right. If there's one God, and it is, I want you to hear me so I can roast you like chestnuts on an open fire. <laughs> there's only one God, and God don't have a smorgasbord. No. Jennings is talking back to Jennings. <laughs> <laughs> must be a miracle. How did that happen? How did that happen? Glory to Amen. God. God don't have an open buffet like Golden Corral. No. That you can choose the religion of your choice. That's right. God have never, hear me good viewers, set up the scriptures so you can choose passages of scriptures, then start a religion around that passage of scripture. That's right. Let me make an example. What of God say how God rests on the seventh day from his creation? Mm -hmm. The seventh day. Somebody read that and went and started seven day adventures. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right. Children of Israel come together during the Feast of Weeks. And then the New Testament it said when the day of Pentecost was fully come, somebody saw that term, started a Pentecostal church. That's right. Somebody read the scripture and talk about the laying on hands of the Presbytery. Oh, they hijacked that word. Yeah. Start the Presbyterian church. Mm -hmm. 
They saw the birth of Jesus, his name, and the title Christ. And then the followers was first called Christians at Antioch. Right. They hijacked that name and took and started a heading, Christianity. That's right. And I want everybody to know there's not a religion in the Bible nowhere. Nowhere. That's called Christianity. I know that shocked some of you. That's right. Because you thought that was your religion. <laughs> God have never, at no time, claimed a religion and called it Christianity. No. That's what your pastor called it. That's right. That's what your mama called it. That's what your daddy called it. Right. Go to the Bible. That's right. You hear me pleading with you over the air, come back to the Bible. Right. Come on back. The reason why I tell you come back, because you left it. That's right. I'm telling you, come back. That's right. I remember talking to a Muslim one day, Nation of Islam. <coughs> we got to talking about religion, and I asked him, is God a Muslim? He never had no one ask him that before. Mm -hmm. He looked and got happy. He said, brother, <laughs> no one ever asked me that. He said, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. He said, Alhamdulillah to me. I said, Allah, Allah, warfak, Allah, Allah, warfak. In other words, he got happy. I got happy along with him because I knew where I was going. <laughs> That's right. Amen. He said, yes, brother. God is a Muslim. Hmm. I said, what do Muslim or Islam mean? He said, one that submits to God. I said, so if God is a Muslim, like you said, who do God submits to? Hmm. He looked. I said, my God submits to no one. That's right. My God don't submit to nobody. That's right. There's nobody higher than God, equal to God. God have no rivals. God have no partners. God have no associates. No. Right. Hear me good, Trinitarians? That's right. Amen. Ain't no little God help the Almighty make the heavens and the earth. No. Hear me good, Jehovah Witnesses? That's right. Jehovah ain't a big God, and Jesus is a sidekick like Batman and Robin. That's right. Are oh, you listening to the old troublemaker? That's right. He says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is what? One. 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 That's the foundation of truth. That's right. The foundation of truth is how many gods it is, and who is that God? Who is it? And if you don't know who is God, your whole wish up is no good. That's right. Listen at this now. For it has been declared unto me. Give chapter and verse again. Still in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 11. It has been told me. Of you, my of brother. Of you, my brother. By them which are of the house of Chloe. That what? That there are contentions among you. There's some type of contention. There's some confrontations going on among God's people in Chloe's house. Now this I say, uh -huh. that every one of you uh -oh. saith, I am of Paul. Look at here. <laughs> Amen. That's what's going on now. That's right. Listen at the Apostle Paul break it down. Paul born in Tarsus mm -hmm. in the city of Cilicia. Brother Paul sat under the feet of a man named Gamaliel, who the word of God said was a Pharisee, a doctor of the law. Mm -hmm. Taught Paul according to the perfect manner of the law. Paul was a Hebrew. He came out the first tribe that ever gave Israel a king, which is the tribe of Benjamin, the youngest son of Jacob. Right. From Benjamin, you have the Benjamites. Mm -hmm. Apostle Paul was on his way to Damascus to do the devil's bidding. That's right. God interfered with him. That's one of the best days of your life is when God interfered with your life. That's right. That's the best day. That's right. A light shined from heaven above the brightness of the sun. Knocked Brother Paul down to the earth, and God spoke from heaven. God, spoke. God did. God. And what did he say? And he fell to the earth. In chapter and verse. Acts chapter 9 and at verse 4. He, he fell to the earth. And heard a voice saying unto him. Saying what? Saul, Saul. Saul, Saul. Why persecutest thou me? What you bothering me for? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? He said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. If the Lord said he is Jesus, who you say he is? That's right. 
The Lord said, I am Jesus. The Lord gave his name. <laughs> yes, he did. And if the Lord, nobody knows his name better than him. That's right. What do you look like arguing with me? Your name ain't Gino. What up? That's right. I know you better than you know you don't. No. God talk here. That's right. I said, God talk here. And he fell to the earth. Fell and, to the earth. And heard a voice saying unto him. And said what? Saul, Saul, why persecutest Saul, thou me? Saul. Why persecutest why thou me? Why are you persecuting me? And he said, who art thou, Lord? Somebody said, the Bible didn't say God was talking. I want to balance this balance out. That Give out. me Psalms. Psalms 100. Chapter 100. And at verse 3. And verse 3, then we'll alternate back with Acts 9 and 5. Amen. So Amen. You see, I got to go to the Old Testament and sock you there. Right. And I got to get the New Testament and sock you there. And once I hit you with the left and hit you with the right, I knock you in the middle of Scripture. That's right. You said there wasn't God talking to Paul. Mm -hmm. The Bible says the Lord. Psalms 100 and verse 3. The Bible says, who art thou? Who art thou, Lord? Lord. Lord. And the Lord said. The Lord. The Lord said. The Lord said. I am Jesus. Now let's read who the Lord is. Psalms 100 and verse 3. What? Know ye that the Lord. Know ye. Hear me. Hear, hear, you old hypocrite. That's right. The Bible says, know ye. That the Lord. That the. The Lord. One. That's right. Who is the Lord? He is God. And what the Acts 9, 5 says. And he said, who art thou, Lord? Who you say he is, hardhead. That's right. Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus. And the Old Testament says what? Know ye that the Lord, he is God. Well, Pastor Genesis, Jesus is another Lord, and Jehovah is another Lord, so that's two. Give me Ephesians, Ephesians 4, 5. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 5. One Lord. What? One Lord. How many don't know? How many can't count the one? Don't know how many one is? That's Raise right. Raise your hand and show me your stupidity. That's right. How many? One Lord. One How Lord. many? One Lord. And King David said in Psalms, who was what? Know ye that the Lord, he is God. And when the Lord gave his name in Acts 9, 5, who did he tell Paul who he was? And the Lord said, I oh, Wait, wait, wait. And what? And the Lord said. The Lord said it? The Lord said. The Lord said it? The Lord said. The Lord said it. The Lord said you got to be That's a right. servant of hell That's right. to dispute what the Lord said. What the Lord said. And now you're going to be that dumb and tell me the Lord don't know himself? <laughs> Amen. And the Lord said, I am Jesus. Whom thou persecuted. Whom thou persecuted. So there was an argument mm. in mm -mm. the house of Chloe. That's beautiful, bro. It is beautiful. That's beautiful. An argument. There are contentions among you. Go back and give chapter and verse. I want to take my time and show you because the same contention that exists then exists now. That's right. Uh -huh. First Corinthians chapter 1, we're at verse 12. Follow me. Now this I say, that every one of you <laughs> saith, I am of Paul. Every one of you say, I am of Paul. And I of Apollos. Another group say, I am with Apollos. And I of Cephas. Another group say, I'm with Cephas or Peter. And I of Christ. Another group say, I ain't with none of y'all. I'm a, I'm a Christian. Is Christ divided? No. That's it. Amen. No, Christ is not divided. That's right. Christ is not divided. That's right. Hear this. And is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified? Paul didn't die for you. Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? That let you know, don't you get so caught up in Paul. That's right. Even though he was an apostle of the truth, don't you get caught up in Paul. That's right. Because Paul ain't said nothing. That's right. Don't say, wait a minute, Pastor Jennings, all that writing Paul did, I said, yeah, Paul ain't said nothing. That's right. Which at the first. I said, Paul. Paul did. Paul ain't said nothing. No, he didn't. Let me show you how this stuff was done 
through Paul. Hebrews chapter 2 and at verse 3. What happened? How shall we escape if, How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? How was this salvation preached? Which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord. By who? The Lord preached this first. That's right. <laughs> That's right. The Lord preached this first. Which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord. Then how did we get it? And was confirmed Then it was us. confirmed. That's it. The apostles confirmed the teachings that they got from the Lord to us. By them that heard him. They heard him. That's it. They, they heard him. Hallelujah. They heard him. That's right. They didn't hear them. No, him. I hear him. That, that's right. You out there hear them. That's why you're so confused. That's right. Getting up in the morning praying to some cross with an image on it. Name of the Father, name of the Son, oh, the Holy Ghost. <laughs> in, in the hospital, name of the Father, name of the Son, the Holy Ghost. Walking down the street or on the bus, name of the Father, name of the Son, the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's right. That's right. The Bible ain't tell you pray to them. No. Bible teaches us to pray to him. Now, therefore, O oh, our God. Hear this? Now in the book of Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 17. Now, therefore. O oh, our God. Do what? Hear the prayer. Wait. Go back. Do what? Now, therefore. Now, therefore. O oh, our God. Oh. Oh. I want to make it plain oh. so folks can hear. That's right. Oh, our, our God, G-O-D, G-O-D, uh -huh. hear the prayer, hear the prayer of thy servant. That's all I want to hear me. Oh, Lord. One. Oh, Lord. Hear. <laughs> amen. amen. Hey, amen. Oh, Lord. Hear. Oh, Jesus. Hear. That's right. Huh? That's right. Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord and said, the Lord said, I am Jesus. And who is he saying he wants to hear? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Say God. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. You know, when you want the Lord to hear your prayer, you want God to hear your prayer. And when God hear your prayer, that's Jesus answering your prayer. Hallelujah. Are you understanding? Hallelujah. The Lord is his title. That's right. God is his title. Hallelujah. But Jesus is his name. That's right. And Christ is his function. That's right. Hallelujah. Are you getting me? Oh, Lord, hear. You Trinitarians can't get this thing right to save your life. That's right. Many, many, many operations. Hallelujah. By the one God. That's right. And the Bible tells us this. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, we'll start at verse 4. Follow me. Now there are diversities of gifts. They are different kind of gifts. But the same spirit. Same spirit. And there are div differences of administration. They are difference in administration. But the same Lord. But it's put together by the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations. They are different operations. They are different functions. They are different Deeds. But, but what? But it is the same God. Oh, no, it's not. There's another one. It is the same God which worketh. Wait, 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 wait now. Amen. Hallelujah. You better read that again. First Corinthians chapter 12 and we're at Everybody verse 6. Everybody that's praying to more than one God use a blind devil to see fool. That's right. Your pastor, your imam, your rabbi, I don't care who you are. That's right. If you're trying to talk to more than one God, you're a fool. That's right. Huh? First Corinthians 12 and verse what 6. What did he say? And there are diversities of operation. There are different operations. But it is the same God. Wait a minute. Hallelujah. Same God. It is the yeah. Go ahead. Then make it rain. In one place. Go ahead. Same God. Same God. Make it snow. Simultaneously. That's right. In another place. That's right. Same God. Let the sun shine. Yes. No interference with weather. That's right. In another place. Go ahead. Same God. Bring an earthquake. Yeah. Same time. Same time. In another place. That's right. Same God. Bring a tsunami. Yeah. In another place. Oh, yeah. Same God bring a famine. Yeah. At the same time. That's right. In another place. That's right. Same God while the sun is shining interfere with thunder. That's right. Make it clap. Glory to God in the heaven. That's right. What did he say? And there are diversities of operations, but 
It is the same God. Same God. Not same three God. separate distinct personalities. No. Your schizophrenic thing, you. That's right. One God. It is the same God. Unlimited operations by this one God. Which worketh all. He work all. In all. And in all. In all.